So this place was a hot spot. Uh -huh. Actually, so many people have been killed here. By the police or the locals? No, uh, by thieves. Oh, They've thieves. So th thieves are the ones who killed those people? Yes. Oh. Yes. And when, when we, were, we were students uh, in this school, mm -hmm. it was uh, really challenging uh, for, uh, to us. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 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 there's one particular moment when the smoke will come from the dam site. Wow. Up to, now, up to now, the smoke... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is uh, still a big challenge mm -hmm. because the emission of the smoke from the dam site mm -hmm. it hinders uh, most of our operations, especially in the afternoon, mm -hmm. whereby you find when the smoke is too much, we are forced to suspend the teaching for the entire day. Wow. Uh, is this water clean? Uh, not really, because as you can, it is actually coming from the dumpster. It's a drainage from the dumpster. Yeah, from so that. a lot of water compiled there still in the rain. When, it, when it rains, mm -hmm. and now it just drains. Oh, uh, see, ah, see this kid is swimming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's very happy. You know how to swim? My dog swim. My, this kid is swimming inside this polluted water that you see. What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy Rashid Islano. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. So today is a very special day. We are doing a very different story in, in this year, 2024. Happy New Year, my friends. So guys, today I'm in uh, Dandora, the most dangerous place called Shasha. Shasha is mo most known because the, uh, it's, it's, it's mo where more informal settlement is like where the most poor people live you know like this is the area you see and we have some story building here and also some houses there and also we'll be visiting the biggest dump site in uh, east africa called uh, boma so guys i mean they would now you can see uh this is where people come and uh, fetch water to this place you can see let me show you guys you can see they fetch water here like this kid is fetching water from this part i think this is the local government uh, who donated this stuff here yeah that's some um, people are chilling yeah so guys this is the hood we are in today i'm giving you the real stories of dandora and uh, yeah we have some people playing draft here. A barizen? A bridge is a draft. Come back to the camera. So we take a camera, bro. Any YouTube too? Let us tell me how to go YouTube. Oh, yeah. 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 Draft draft up at the dog, on a championship up at Nona and a beba. So, you guys are playing draft? Yes, you are just relaxing here. You can get an onion as a beba. You can come back. Hey, you are here. 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 You So, guys. So, guys. Uh, so, guys. Uh, this is my friend. Yes. Introduce yourself, bro. Uh, my name is Mea, uh -huh. Anthony Mea. I'm a director at the Social Justice Center Starving Theatre. Uh -huh. And uh, this is my hood. Uh -huh. This is where I grew up in. And um, we are actually going to... Um, I'm going to take you for a walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, walk and uh, we'll go and see. First of all, you're going to meet a friend of mine that we grew up with also. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Then uh, we do, uh, we, uh, do a walk, a little bit of the walk around the dam site. Wow. About to grow. This is where we've grown. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, basically it's just a tour. So yeah. come along. Uh, my friend here. It's a safari. What's up, bro? Hi, bro. Hi. You have some beautiful ladies here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. These are who these were grown up in. Come inside. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, as, I, as I told you before, mm -hmm. uh, these were grown up in. And uh, probably, if uh, possible, we'll also go to where we learned. Oh. Where we uh, go oh. to our primary school education. Wow, also. wow. Mm -hmm. And what about you, bro? What's your name? This is I'm David Safari. Uh -huh. Let me introduce uh, everyone up. What's your name? Smash. Smash. And you? I'm BR. And you? Tycoon. Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Leah. Leah. Okay, let me back to you, bro. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, so, so um, we've also grown together with the mayor mm -hmm. around this place. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you look across, you see the biggest dump site. Yeah, this is the big, uh, biggest dump uh, site. Yeah. The biggest dump site in Kenya. In East Africa also. Uh, and in East Africa, and, and the second largest in Africa. True. So this is where uh, we, we've stayed. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also um, uh, earned our living inside the dump site. Wow. Uh, and also our school where where it is built it is built uh, on top of the, dump, top of the dump site wow uh, let's have a walk there uh -huh. yeah. enjoy the rest of your days guys so anthony and davis will be taking me around uh i show you guys you know most of the like when you read online mm. here in shasha is the most dangerous place someone can come and visit yes <laughs> Ama, is, is, is that the truth that's true because this had been actually the most dangerous place especially this road in. this road this is actually so many people have been killed around here you see this place here there was a, a, a kind of um, a, a, an electric post here. Here? Yeah, and uh, there were so many of them, they were placed in one area. I don't know why, but that is how they were. So this place was a hot spot. Uh -huh. Actually, so many people have been killed here. By and the I police don't... or the locals? No, uh, by thieves. Oh, They've thieves. Been mugged, so th thieves are the ones who killed those people? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I hope uh, they will not be killed. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yourself with us today, uh -huh. and I just stayed. Uh, let, let, here. Take us, we see. Let's go and see where Mayor was living when he was growing up. Yes, this is where I lived when I was growing up. So this is where I called home. Uh, this, uh, uh, where I called home. This. Sasa, Koviti. Hello. Neje, bro. Oh, this is uh, where you grew up, bro. This is where I grew up in Kufuivi. Wow. And oh. the, the, the last house. The last house. That's where we stayed. Up at Wow. Uh, How much do they pay rent here? Huh? I can't remember because I was. Ama, we maybe we know. ask her. Yeah. We'll ask her. <laughs> right now. Mambo. Say rent ni pesa ngapi yuko? Oh. Hey, a thousand that, bob. That's uh, less than uh, six dollars. Yes, that's le six. Sorry. Less six dollars. That's six dollars. Is, no. is it six yeah. dollars exactly? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think. Maybe well, the calculator. I'm not good with that. Uh, uh, but uh, let's say around that uh, amount. But yeah. this where we stayed. This actually, this was actually my home. This is where you were born also. Yes. This and is. this is where they fetch water, guys. You can mm. see this water, and this the washroom. And yeah. this Tamari. is the toilet. Goku. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, this is where I stayed. This is where I lived. This is where I called home. This is where I see I seek refuge whenever there was no when there's a problem you always told to go home. Yeah. So this is where I came home. Wow. Whenever, uh, and yeah. you, and what is this place for? Um, this is where I keep some chum and chill. Yes, this is a place where you can come and chill. As you can see uh, someone just took um waste from just a variety, a variety of ways and, and make something. A, a shelter here. Yes, a shelter here that uh, you can just come and relax and yeah. have some good time. As you can see, the kids are just enjoying their moment. And here. they are having some sugar cane. I can see this. You need to cool Baba. No cool any of you know me, you They are having some sugar cane. Yes, the, the sugar cane is actually not from far. From this far. It is just from here. It is grown here. Ah, this is the the farm. Yeah. Guys, this is the farm where the kids have and, and also. The, Sugar, you see? And also, this is a farm. Uh -huh. uh, it is. It is. It is also a farm that uh, it is on top of the dam site. Oh, yeah. This was a, was a dam site. Mm. All of uh, this place was a dam site yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was a dam site. So people are, are trying to reclaim this dam site oh. because there are no spaces in Dandora. Mm. So you can see someone has uh, has uh, planted uh, her thing, uh, his things on top of the dam site. Wow. Yeah. So right now we we are heading to where you guys. Uh, went to school because mm -hmm. uh, I would love to see your school mm -hmm. at least people to see also where you guys are coming from yeah and also beside uh, this how was life growing up here in uh, 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 in, growing... the, in the most dangerous part because here is the most dangerous part. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh -huh. uh, first of all, where we are right now, uh -huh. it is called Bidatin. Because Bidatin uh, is a place where, where uh, there's criminals. Yeah. There is a war. And, and I, I was uh, staying here. The, this building. You see this building. This yes. is the first uh, um, story building, story building uh -huh. uh, after the dam site. Yes. So wow, this, this is the dam site, guys. This see. is the dam site. This is the, no, no. How, 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 how like how big is how big the dump site? Uh, the 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 dump, the dump site is, is uh, the around, dump uh, around uh, thirty acres. Thirty yeah. acres. Thirty acres. Woo. 
Why that's very know? big man that's 30 acres yes. and uh, it, it, it hosts around um, uh, uh, 10,000 with speakers 10,000 people doing, yeah who are working in the dump site who are wow. doing their livelihoods in the dump site yeah. wow yeah 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 <laughs> and, you, and you see now this route where, where, where we are walking uh -huh. anytime um, we, ca we, we can we can we can we can uh, get beefs oh. we'll come to <laughs> Yeah, uh, so today, actually, today I will not get robbed. <laughs> There's a lovely dog here, guys. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> lovely, but very calm. And uh, so this is the road which people use to go to Lakisama. Yeah. You see, guys, that, that, that side is uh, another wood called Lakisama. Yeah, Lakisama. Wow. And um, this place, this mm -hmm. where every day when we were kids, mm -hmm. this is where we were going, uh, our route for going to school. Ooh. I it was very risky. I, I, Up to now, it's still risky. Yeah, yeah, uh, Lucas, pass here. Yeah, no, 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 no. There's no any car that passes. Only lorries. Here. Only lorries. Oh, like. Um, um, wow. Downset lorries. And, ah. and you see, funny thing, I can, I can tell you a story. Every time when we were growing, yeah. we, could, we, could get, we could get a body. A body? Yeah. Of someone. someone who has been almost, killed. Almost every morning. Uh, almost every morning. Ooh. Or sometimes we were... We, we is is being, being killed with a thief or, uh, or a police? O always. Uh, a, a thief always. Eh? Because there's a time we were, when we were going uh, to school, mm -hmm. we, we got ourselves... We, got, we were caught uh, in a mix-up of uh, criminals mm -hmm. and us. Wow. So it was, it was uh, like a war, like a rampage. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were with me? Yeah, we yes. were with me. You know, actually... How old were you at that time, bro? Uh, we were around, we were in class, I think, five. Yes, class five? Mm -hmm. Class five. Mm -hmm. Class five, that's, that's oh. around uh, and 11. What is this building for? I can see there's a lovely building here. Uh, now, uh, this one, uh -huh. this is Dandora Hip Hop City. Uh -huh. The building no, down there. Uh, the building down there. Yeah. This is a church. You can see this building, guys. There's a building here, a pink building. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That is uh, Dandora uh, Hip Hop City. This is Dandora Hip Hop City. Uh -huh. It is, a, it is a, like, like a, a, a community hub. Mm. Oh. Of, uh, you know, Dandora is a home of talent. Mm. Yeah, we true. had the uh, Ukoflani Mau Mau. Uh -huh. Now we, we, are, we have the traveling <laughs> theater where I, I, I'm, I'm with their shirt. I can see a um, shirt also. You can, you can <laughs> see this, the, this is the, shirt. the traveling, traveling theater. theater. Traveling theater. And mm. we have the Dandora Hip Hop City. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when you when you see this here uh, inside here, hopefully we will uh, we'll, we'll enter inside. Let me, uh, it's, it is the only recycling project. Yes. This is, is the only recycling project uh -huh. in Around, um, the dump site. The dump site. Uh -huh. Because there's an, there's no any other recycling project. This is called it, as you can see it is fenced. Uh -huh. It used to be a recycling project. Right now that recycling is just a little bit. Uh -huh. of it. Actually, there's no recycling going on here right now. Uh -huh. There's just machines that compress uh, um, um, the waste waste that yeah. can be recycled. Can is be taken it being to the funded with the government? Or? No. Uh, no, no, no. Right now, it's just some few individuals who have come together, put their money together, and oh. now they have this machine. They have it run. They do uh, in Itangwa mm -hmm. They buy uh, fuel for the machine. Mm -hmm. they just make sure that the machine is in good condition. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you see the, the Mukuru project, mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was called the Jumuya Mukuru. Mm -hmm. And Baba Mea, my father, was, uh, was a part his father of is, a is also part of, uh, is a member mm. of, oh. of this project. Mm. Wow. Mm. The, the, the organization, uh, the, the Mukuru recycling project has actually been there for over 30 years. Right? 30 years. For over 30, 30 years. years. So wow. whatever you're seeing here, this is um, this, the, this was built. So these are the waste, are the, these are the waste they have bring. Yeah, these are sacks. These are oh. sacks. Oh. Uh, these are sacks that have been collected from the dump site. As you can see, there are so many. They are waiting to be to be recycled. Sorted. Because they can't be recycled here. They're just being transported. To, yeah. Ah. Mm. They're transported to Tanzania. And how is life living here, uh, Mayor? Mr. Mayor? Hmm? How is life living here? Uh, life living here, first of all, as you can see, the environment itself is a challenge because <laughs> uh, we expect that when you're growing up, you have a place where you can play, you can just do your free things as a kid. And as kids, we are mostly, uh, most of the time, you're always clumsy. Mm -hmm. And being clumsy, that means that uh, we can just get anything and uh, play with. So if you see this environment, this is yeah. where we grew up in. And um, uh, we used to play here, even uh, with Akina Davis here. Yeah. <laughs> you used to come and play here? Yes. We this, come so, here, we play here together. Yeah. Things, One things. minute I show people the, the, the place. Okay. So guys, see, these are the garbage. So I think this is like uh, where they bring the garbage and they recycle it. But for now, it's not working. See. 
there's some bottle here and the longest Nairobi river is here there's a women who are washing things there you can see let me show you you see there's some women who are washing uh, the the plastic this is the longest river you see and there's a farm there this is the biggest you can see there's a woman who is washing some some nylon papers this is the most dirtiest river here in Nairobi so guys let me take you inside you see the recycling uh, machine about. This is the machine? Yeah, this is the machine. It has been here for the past 30 years. Yes, this machine, as you what? can see. Mm. How does it work? It, uh, okay, I this cannot operate it, but it's, it's, it's a compressor. Mm -hmm. the, these buttons here, these buttons oh. actually work in shift. There's uh, one for raising up, one for stopping, and one for taking it down. Uh -huh. And uh, this way, and now the sacks are being put in. So you this. put in the sack in here. Now the machine does its work. Oh, compressor. it's compressed, like uh, this. this and to create this kind of yes, shape. Yes, creates this kind of shape uh, out of the. So sacks. let me explain to people. Like this thing compressed down to this other thing, so it's compressed like that. Yes, yes. That's how it compresses. Yes, that is how it works. Wow. Simply, that's how this machine works. There are also many other machines here. Mm -hmm. there are others for for, for uh, grinding, grinding uh, mm -hmm. plastics. plastics. Wow. Uh, others for also just putting metals into shape. Wow. Like here. yes. Mambo. Like this one, they have already yes, compressed. compressed yeah. Yeah, these like compressed. See, these have already been compressed, guys. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And so you see here, mm -hmm. this was where uh, they used to wash the yes. sacks. Oh, uh, this before being compressed, mm -hmm. they're being washed. Yes, they oh. must be washed before being compressed. And they wash first here. Yeah. Yes, this uh, this uh, pools that you're seeing here. Wow. And we wow. used to swim. We used to, <laughs> swim. We used to swim here. You used to swim uh, here. Uh, after when there's no any work, uh, we come because there's no swimming pool. We have the dirty river, so <laughs> we were using the dirty river pool. that I've shown you yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're using this place as, as our swimming pools, wow. and it was uh, it, it was, was fun. fun because we were like <laughs> five kids inside here. <laughs> Fill it with water. Mm -hmm. uh, so you used to swim here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fill them with water and then block the, the, the outlet. The outlet. Oh. Then now we just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> it was a little heaven for us. Saturday was like being in a um, uh, 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 five star swimming pool. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 so, so guys, uh, we, we have just met my uh, dad to Maya. Uh, maybe maybe you can introduce your dad. Well, yes, yes, let me introduce my dad. He is my dad. <laughs> and maybe let he can greet talk him again. so that we can also get to hear his voice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> introduce yourself, dad. Uh, my name is Charles uh -huh. Oduor. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting here at home. This is where I live. Uh -huh. I'm father to Anthony. The, this tall guy, mm -hmm. talented guy. Yes. <laughs> so and, we, yeah, we just caught him on surprise. <laughs> he was doing his own work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. I'm, doing, uh, I'm a community health worker. Wow, wow. So I'm doing assessment uh -huh. in my households. Wow. Yeah. So how long have you been working here, Dad? In, in the dam site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been working here for about 30 years. 30 I've years? For 30 years, yeah. Oh. So this way I've been working for these 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony grew here in this compound, actually. This compound? Yeah, in this compound. Tony hmm. grew up here. With the... Tafari. Uh, tafari. <laughs> with Tafari. Tafari's yeah. father was living just here in the estate. Uh -huh. you, are, you, you Both of you guys were friends. You with the... Uh, father, the father Tafari is my friend. Up yeah. to now? Yeah. My friend up to now. Oh, wow, wow. Like, same thing yes. to you. Yes, same yes. thing to your son. <laughs> his son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's powerful, man. So this is where I've been here for these 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've been working in the dump site for a long time mm -hmm. as a, a solid waste. A garbage collector in solid waste management. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, 
is a self-help group. Mm -hmm. We were just we, we came together as uh, people who were working in the dump site. Oh. We joined hands mm -hmm. uh, and formed a self-help group wow. called Jumuya Mukuru. Jumuya Mukuru. Jumuya is a small Christian community. Mm -hmm. So we, we we came together in the basis of uh, rehabilitating mm -hmm. and coming back to the church. Wow. And after coming back to the church, the Catholic Church of Karibangi, mm -hmm. they, they, they gave us uh, this idea of coming together and working together, uh, collecting waste and bringing it together and selling it together as a cooperative. True, true. And uh, after doing this for one of two years, we went to the government and the government gave us permission to uh, give us this place. Oh, this place, to do this our area. Activity. Yeah. Wow, wow. We went to the chief and the chief gave us this place because in those 30 years back, mm -hmm. there was space here. Mm. The last church was SDA, Dandora SDA. Yes, yes. Uh, the one that was allocated the land here, mm -hmm. so there was space here. And we came after SDA mm -hmm. and we were told to give to... The chief came and gave us uh, the, the, this the, the work and place. This, this place is uh, called Crown Land. Ground it's land. land below the sewage line. True, true. I so would. it is not entitled to a title deed, yeah. but it's, uh, it's reserved for communities to do their activities. Wow. You find it's, it's a place reserved for uh, self help groups, mm. reserved for churches. Mm. Now, how uh, many people, how many members do you have in your? Uh, group. We started with 80 members, mm -hmm. but in the course of time, mm -hmm. some of some members went back up country to their to their up country homes. Mm -hmm. uh, some died. Oh. Some even left the cooperative, went to their private businesses. Wow. Uh, but the ones that, uh, that uh, stayed all, all along, who are left up to now, mm -hmm. we are about 20 wow. Wow. out of the 80. Wow, you are doing a really great job, Fadi. Thank yeah, you so much yeah, to yeah. being part of my video. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so now we are, we are, Mayor are taking me to where they, they, they went, we went to school. To school? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we show people. Okay. Yeah. We also want to show ah, people. Uh, school mm -hmm. with, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and you meet somebody there? Uh, I think there's the, uh, so, uh, the security person and also some teachers are, uh, around there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like what you're doing. Asante. Very good. If this will be a history. They'll keep us our records. Yeah. Sure. yeah they'll true. show to somebody else and show to their children also. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. It's very true. Sure. Asante, San. San, San. Aye. So, um, this, this is where Baba Tony lives. Uh -huh. uh, this is also our. our, 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 our I, I, I come in. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Tony. Tony. They have allowed me to come in. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's so dark in here. So, this. It's dark. Ah, I'm at to pick a lunch. How are you? Look at Salama. Yeah. 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 So for the Asante yeah. Sana, thank you so much. Be blessed. Thank you. Mm. So guys, we are just coming to where may have been living. Uh, you wanted us to go to? Uh, to your school. Oh, the school, yeah. So guys, uh, we are heading to, to the school where Mayor and Davis uh, went to school. And right now we are in a place. What's the name of this place? Bro? It's, uh, it is Kajiji. Mm -hmm. It's known as Kajiji. Mm -hmm. Some people call it Dandora Phase 6. Mm -hmm. Phase 6. There's Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, Phase 4, Phase 5. Mm -hmm. Now people call this area Phase 6. Why Phase but, 6? Uh, because of uh, there's Phase 1 and phase, uh, up, up to Phase 5. Phase five. Oh. No. So phase when there's no Phase 6, people, people call it Phase 6. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how many people live here? Uh, roughly around... Um, 1500 people 1500 yeah, live around here 1500 yeah and they depend they depend, on, depend uh, on the dam site. on the dam site yeah. oh so most of the people who live around here uh. so most of the people who live around here guys depend from that dam site that we will be going mm -hmm. after visiting the school yeah, yeah, of yeah. mayor yeah. and <laughs> this so uh, so this this is the school of yes, the gate <laughs> one in quite so now you guys we are, we are we are we are we are we are going to the school of these two guys let's see the background of these two two gentlemen man uh -huh.
So this is the school, guys. Now, you can see. Now, uh, this is where we went to primary school. Mm -hmm. It was uh, first. Of, it was uh, an uh, a wooden school. A wooden before. Before it was made like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Can see. Um, this so after uh, after a while, it uh, it uh, it was turned into. Uh, uh, it was made uh, for uh, to uh, as a school of stones, uh, uh, and you can see how beautiful it is. It's very beautiful. Let me show people. You see, very beautiful. I really love this compound. Yeah, wow. it was a bigger one than this. Yeah, before. Mm. Before this, day and we one. have the teacher for the school. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself, bro. Uh, by name I go Teacher Austin. Uh -huh. Yeah. You are the teacher of which the name of this school? The the name of the school mm -hmm. as widely known by most of the people is Jirani Education Center. Mm -hmm. uh, Center for Excellence. Wow. Uh, Do you know these guys? <laughs> these two guys. Uh, don't, don't let me tell you something. Hey, <laughs> you know, uh, this is a, a, a school where it has built us. Uh -huh. Now, Tisha Austin was our, our classmate. classmate. Oh, yes, he was our classmate, our head boy. <laughs> yeah, he was our head boy. Now he's the teacher of the now school. He's the teacher. <laughs> now he's the teacher in this school. Wow. And um, uh, for us, mm -hmm. when we were we went primary school, mm -hmm. he, he used to like uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. And uh, even sometimes when he could uh, fail, mm -hmm. he could just. Um, uh, be mad <laughs> and me, me yeah. and uh, him and Mayor, yeah. we were good dancers. Mm. Oh, wow. We were good dancers. Yes. We, mm -hmm. we danced in this school from uh, traditional dance from mm. class five mm. until class eight. Wow. Yeah, and we've started with the hostel from class one in this school wow. until class eight. Wow. Teacher Hostin, can you, will you mind taking us at around at least? You, oh. you show us the school. The school. Uh, yeah. So. so this, this, this is the staff room. Uh -huh. uh, so we can enter? Yes, you can just come in. I saw this, this, the, this the classroom. The, office, the staff room to be tidy. We have, we have a small computer lab here with wow. us. Wow. This is amazing. We have a computer lab here where kids come and, uh, kids come and do some. How many kids do you have right we, now? We, we have a population of 400. 400 yeah, kids. As per last year. Uh -huh. And we you know this is New Year. Uh -huh. we st we new recruitment is ongoing. Wow. So we anticipate for more, for a bigger number. Uh -huh. So the school has uh, uh, 10 classes. Ten classes. Yes, ten classes. So, so this this, cl this grade eight. Uh -huh. Since we are transitioning to CBC fully, but uh, can I ask you one question? Mm -hmm. Is this school supported by the government or? No, the school is not. It is a community-based school. Uh -huh. So the most of our resources come from the parents wow. who pay some little affordable school mm -hmm. fees. Mm -hmm. Is that was what we used to run the school? Wow, up to now. Up to mm. now. Wow. Yes. It used Guys. to be under sponsorship by Kenya Good Neighbors, uh -huh. but now it is not anymore. Uh -huh. They withdrew the sponsorship. So the kids have to struggle on their own. They have to pay school fees. And as you can see, the parents just work from the dump site. Wow. So it's a struggle also from the teachers. So this is the playground, guys. Yeah, yeah, so so this, is our, this is our playground. Mm. Yeah. That's our ECD area. ECD? Yeah, this. That is our ECD. Wow. We have the preschool P1 and PP2. Wow. That is our store over there. Uh, and the, there's, a, there's a story that you are telling me, Mr. Tafari, uh -huh. that this school is built build, uh, on top of the dam site. site. Wow. Yes, if you see, just um, opposite this this fence. This is fence. The dam site. Mm. Wow. Uh, even if, if you see from here, you see the hills. Yeah. So those yeah. are not hills, those are dam sites. Those are dam uh, sites. And uh, so, I think also to prove that this school is built on top of the dam site, if you dig here, uh -huh. you will actually just. Uh, be, bit directly with the waste from the dam site because you can see some things are just not found wow. in a, true, a, a, true. anywhere but these are glasses guys there, there was a dam site so this is the proof that this school was built on a dam site mm. and, ah. and when, when we, were, we were student in this school mm -hmm. it was uh, really challenging uh, for, uh, to us mm -hmm. because uh, 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 there's one particular moment when the smoke will come from the dam site wow and up, into to now, up to now the smoke. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But it is a, still a big challenge mm -hmm. because the emission of the smoke from the dam site mm -hmm. it does uh, most of our operation especially in the afternoon mm -hmm. whereby you find when the smoke is too much we are forced to suspend the teaching for the entire day wow mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, that's very terrible yeah. and so this is the store guys this, 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 this is the store 
Do do kids eat here in school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we provide lunch for them wow. at a, at a affordable cost of um, twenty shillings per day. That's less than zero point something cent dollar. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. We just pay. This is the kitchen, but now it's it's quite closed, guys. I hope you can see the kitchen. And what is this, Malini? This is where we keep uh, the essential. Uh, essential things of the school. Oh, uh, and why use this? Well, this is a container, guys. You can see there. This is a container where we keep most of our essential uh -huh. uh, things. Uh, it tax as our main uh, backlog of security. Ah, yes, it's very strong. Security. And we have we have a total of sixteen toilets. Yeah, these are the toilets. Yeah, yes, we have, we have a total of sixteen toilets. And this is the school tank. This is the school tank. And this is the auditorium. This is the auditorium. This is where we were, we were doing our rehearsals mm -hmm. uh, during. Uh, oh, and uh, and there's a lot of water here, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this stuff might have probably been plugged by the. Oh, they are still the the by yeah. Yes. yes. Due to insecurity of the surrounding, as you can see, the fences are really exposed. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, due to the insecurity that we have been experiencing, this is as as also. But we are trying our level best to yeah. to have a a conducive environment. Yeah. Whereby you engage the community. The water is clean, guys. You can see. Yes. They have stole something. They have stole some tap. Mm. There was a tap here and here and here, but they have stole it. Yeah. So they sell these taps. Yes. Right. yes they actually. How much can it cost when you go to maybe buy it? Only it three dollars. This is uh, eight eight hundred shillings. Eight hundred shillings yeah. for this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they sell it at three hundred when they sell it. Mm. Three hundred, others hundred shillings, yeah. others even fifty shillings. Mm. So, so guys, if maybe you want to buy the school, uh, maybe the tabs you can see, the school, they have already stole some tabs here, and uh, it can only cost maybe. Twenty dollars to buy all of this stuff. Yeah, if maybe you want to sponsor the school, I will uh, I will give you direction. Send some money. We buy the tabs for the school. When are you opening the school? We are opening the school next week on Monday, on eighth. Oh, on 8th, that's the official government date. Mm -hmm. yeah, we must comply with their directives. True. true. Uh, yeah. Maybe oh, this some. Is our toilet. This yeah. Gas toilet. This is the girls' toilet. These are the gas toilets. Yeah. There, there are six in, in number plus that one. We have a, a tiny toilet for a small young girls there. Uh, that's one, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's the blue one. Yes, yeah, the blue one. And what is this space for? This space is for. Let me ask. Oh, the auditorium. It is an auditorium. Meetings are held here. Mm -hmm. Lunch is taken here. Oh, so kids can come and sit here and uh, yes, yes, enjoy yes, their lunch. Meditation. Wow. Yes, you can just sit here and meditate upon. Mm -hmm. uh, some meetings are held here. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, kids also take their lunch here, so this is basically a, a like a space for them, free space for them. Wow, mm. that's amazing! Look at this tree, guys. This tree is old. This is, wow. the, oldest tree this is the oldest tree. When hey. when we were kids, mm. this this was a very small tree. This is the hey. tree. This but, tree uh, is very old. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 ah, it, was, this tree. it was planted in the year 1991. 1991. Uh, this is the it is a soft one, but. The roots have gone up to the river, you can see the To river. the river, guys. This is the Nairobi River, so the school is just adjacent to Nairobi River. And this river is not clean. This yeah. river is not clean, the water is not it's clean. The dirtiest clean. river <laughs> in Nairobi. In, 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 in the world, in the world, actually. That's it. True, wow. And so, I can see uh, any. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, have you have seen the boys' toilet and. Yeah, yes, I've yeah, seen that. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can see also you have planted some nice tree here, some nice flowers. Uh, yeah, you know, it is all about oh, environment so and global warming. So to reduce the effect of carbon mm -hmm. that has just been emitted from the dam side, we have come up with, with some measures. Eh? Mm -hmm. Although yeah. they are not, we are not there, but we, at least we are doing something. People live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, these are our good neighbors. Oh, yes, wow. they are there. So what what is always there? What is always there? This this is water for the grasses. So we have oh. a small garden here. Ah. And you can you can read about the the, the school. Wow. So this is the school, guys. Yes. Maybe. 
Kenya Good Neighbors, mm. Kasi, Jirani Education Center, that International. The, in, initial, the, initial, uh, the people was, came up with the, yeah. the actual structure of the school. Then after some time, they do their policies, they hand it over to the community. So mm. the school was full. Mm. Wow. And it was like this one. We were schooling here. Yeah. It was like it was this. Made of wood. Yeah, wow. Like this one. The entire of this. Yeah. This is an uh, iconic yes. building in this school. We cannot, yeah. it, cannot, it cannot be, be taken down. Oh, this building here. Yeah, because it represents the initial, the initial phase uh -huh. of this school. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Guys, see the name. International Humanitarian and Development NGO. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very so, nice. This, this is a garden. The name is there. Yeah. It's a very beautiful garden. Yes, yes. The kids are the one who made it. Yes, yes. A, there's a club known as Pink Green. Oh, Pink yes, Green. Yes, there's a club known as They are Pink fighting Green. for environment. Yes, so to encounter the carbon uh, emission from the, from the dump site, these mm -hmm. are just some of the measures that wow. our people have come up with mm -hmm. so that at least these trees, when they grow big, the the hair will be at least friendly for true, them. True, true. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they decided to come and these are the name of some of the people who come on board as country. Each tree has a name. Oh, uh, I can see the names. Yeah, yeah, so this one is the uh, director of Kenya Good Neighbors. Mm -hmm. This one is the assistant director. Her name is Yuni. Is a is is a is a chinku. Is a Korea. She's yeah. a Korean. Yeah. Th this is our good friend Joram. Joram yeah. from Koika. You can see her name. As then, this one is a beloved teacher. A head teacher. Uh, head teacher. Yeah. He, he was our, um, our teacher when we were in, in, in a primary. Mm. But right now is the head teacher of the who school. controls the school. You always do a very good job. Mm. And so, also, mm -hmm. for food security purposes, mm -hmm. uh, food sovereignty purposes, mm -hmm. the kids have decided to plant their own food. Yes. Wow. If you can see here. Yeah. These wow. are uh, skuma wiki. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Scale. 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 These are the scale guys. Yeah. See. You, can, you can see we are, we are, the kids are, are, are trying to fight um, um, and uh, demand, fight hunger. Cool. Uh, so for food sovereignty purposes, mm. uh, to, uh, they want to plant their own food. So they came up with this initiative and it's a very uh, progressive initiative. Mm. And Malimo, Malimo Austin, mm. uh, what's the challenges like you guys now facing as a school? As a school, mm -hmm. our, our main challenge is that we, we come this side at least the light to oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Our, our main challenge here is, you know, most of our parents here, mm -hmm. uh, they dwell around. They mm -hmm. come from the around and the slums of Korogocho, mm -hmm. Iago Mongo, and a few from Dandora. Mm -hmm. Most of them work at the dam side, True. and what they earn from the what they scavenge there is below the dollar mm -hmm. so uh, them affording to pay the school fees here is really a, a big challenge because we have teachers to pay we have some other staffs to pay mm -hmm. so you, 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 you it, it is a, it, we have a scenario whereby there's a we have that burden of resources in terms of cash mm -hmm. and even the uh, the meals they're not that enough just give them that, that can sustain them mm -hmm. for a period of a, half a day wow. and most of them only depend on this our lunch True. for survival. For, for survival mm -hmm. oh. they come home without taking anything so you can imagine so our main challenge is technically uh, if, I can, if, if i can just summarize it mm -hmm. it is fun when we get uh, sponsors or well, well wishers who can just sponsor maybe the kids with, yes. with meals mm -hmm. they can sponsor the kids by paying for them some school fees mm -hmm. some even don't have the necessary stationery to to write like oh. books pencils mm -hmm. so but we just accommodate them because you know education is one of the right in article 53 of the constitution of kenya yeah. yeah so we must we must accommodate them and we, we just help them and by the end of the day at least they they, they come out of this gate as people who are meaningful in the society. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. that's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, yes, for inviting and, uh, us. And I think uh, Chelsea is doing a great job together mm -hmm. with the teachers who are working here because we've been in this school 
and we know how uh, because our parents also work in the dump site so we know how difficult it is to get to pay the school fees because i remember by then we were paying school fees and dollars was it and hundred uh, one dollar per, per month uh, one dollar. Was, was three, three. so three of you guys learned from this yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. and uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, we, are, we are beneficiaries of uh, sponsorship um, mm. so uh, when we were in this school we were being provided uh, we were sponsor sponsored we had, we had uniforms we had books mm. we had good meal mm. different meal a uh, week but after the people withdrew their sponsorship, the good, good neighbors uh, the good neighbors um, yeah. do their sponsorship mm -hmm. now it is really hard Mm. for them to survive without uh, the funds yeah. sure. wow yeah, wow sure. so thank you so much for inviting us to the yeah, school you're much welcome the school is, al is always open yeah and welcome anybody who will work to work with us wow okay. so guys right now we are heading to the dump site i want to show you guys the dump site where the uh, the dads to dad to mayor and the father usually work up to now your dad still working uh, my, my dad uh, is now 53 years uh, where he relocated. Uh, he relocated to up country wow mm. so guys come with us as we take you around the dam site so guys now we are heading to the biggest dam site in east africa and from here you can see the houses these are the houses There's, the houses are just here and this is the dam site see the, the dam site is very big guys and we have some women who are washing clothes here. Don't know which water are they using. You can see from here. They're washing clothes. Abari zenyu. So the, you see, this is where you, you you guys used to do this. We used to even swim in this in this uh, water. Yeah. Is this water clean? Uh, not really because as you can, it is actually coming from the dam site. It's a drainage from the dam site. Yeah, from so that. a lot of water compiles there when it rains. Mm -hmm. and now it just drains. Oh, uh, see ah, see this kid is swimming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's very happy. You know how to swim? I just swim. My, this kid is swimming inside this polluted water that you see. Let's go down there. And I can see there's someone who's using that water for uh, yeah, yeah. irrigation. irrigation. You, you, know, you know when we were in school, huh? this water, sometimes it, it could enter into, our, into the classes. Yes, yes. Because Actually, sometimes you, it is, it is uh, fl flood inside the dump site. Yeah. So when, when that water has, it has been re uh, released, mm -hmm. It will come just straight into into our classes, yes. yeah. and that day we will not be going to school. And by wow. that time, all of these officers were not there, so there was nothing to protect the water from getting to the school. Wow! We direct to the school, get and as you as we've seen, our mm. classes were, were built with the uh, wood. Wood at that time. At that time, wow. so it is easy for water to just escape and get into the class. Wow! Mm -hmm. Can see this kid is enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> and they're so creative. They've used the. Uh, Things for that from the dump side to to make clothes, swimming <laughs> costumes. <laughs> oh. So guys, let's go now to the. You can see these are some uh, polythene paper they have washed. Yes, yeah, uh, the recycling. Oh. I think, uh, something known as recycling. Oh. Uh, those who are washing these papers here, uh -huh. uh, they recycle these papers. They, they, they are from the dump side, so. Yes. They come and wash and then resell them again. Wow. The uh, like these women are washing yeah, so them. They are washing them and then they just dry them here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after they have, dry, uh, they have dried them, they now pack them according to colors, shape, size. And now they sell them to the people, wow. those recycling companies. Wow. So let's go up there. We show the people the view. Let me take you guys up there, you see. Today, video is more more of telling you the stories of Dandora because when you read on the internet most people say Dandora is the most dangerous place you cannot visit now I'm in Dandora with my friends also me I'm from Dandora but I've, I've, I didn't grow up here I came here in uh, 2015 whereby I met my friends here Davis and Mayor they are one of the best actors in Dandora 
And we have a, we have a, a theater company, mm -hmm. this one, the Social Justice Center's Traveling Theater. Yes. Where we use our art to amplify the voices of our community. True. To amplify the voices of people who are living, uh, living in the dump site. True. And working in the dump site. That's very true. So we are going on top of a hill. So all of this is a heap of garbage. Uh, 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 what? Bro, you got some energy. <laughs> if someone wants to, uh, to do hiking, <laughs> if you want to do hiking and you don't have uh, any resources to to visit uh, the Mount Kenya, come to the Nora Dam site. We have hills of dams. <laughs> of dams. Of, of dams. You, you can hike. You can, you can hike. hike. You can go to, you can get whatever you want to get. And you out can see even wild animals. But, uh, Marabusto is here. <laughs> but remember one thing while you are coming do not carry your phone or your stuffs. It will be stolen. <laughs> 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 Due to security analysis, don't carry your stuff, guys. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, if, they come, but even if you come, you can uh, come with us. Yes, we take you around. Take you around. Wow, oh, this is a very huge garbage, guys. Yeah. Wow, see the building. Those are yeah, the houses. On top of the garbage. Wow. On top can, of the garbage. Yeah. If you can go there, so that you can have a good view. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Guys, see. Oh. Ah. So if you stand right here, big. you can see most of uh, the places in Nairobi. Yeah. See, this is like Sama, uh, and that's Sarani. The, uh, yeah, yeah. This is like Sama and Kasarani. Mm -hmm. So now, coming to this side, get to Ambao, the middle right there. Where we have come from. Yes. Now this one is Shasha. The end of this, phase four. Mm. Dandora phase four. She's known as Shasha. Mm. Shasha. Shasha. And also, this is the water they were, they were swimming. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. This oh. is the water Can we go close here. to show people? Mm. Yes, we can. Oh. So guys, this is the real life of living in the slums. Survival for the fittest. From here, you can see the, this water. This is the water that the kids were swimming. You can see this is a river. So all this water just uh, clogged here. Ooh, and it's the, also a, a breeding zone for mosquitoes. So you also <laughs> know that is another challenge. It's also a breeding home for mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So this water, when uh, this water just get a small chance to get out, like you've seen right there where the children are swimming. Mm -hmm. Now it is just flow. Ooh. Slowly, slowly. It will, it will even take months to flow all of this water out wow. of here. This is very terrible, man. Yes. So this is the dam site. We are standing on top of and we, are we garbage. in the middle or even we are not we are not, we are not in the middle this is not the middle if you can see mm. this other side or any other side uh -huh. you're not we're, still we're in not the, in when you are in, in the middle of the dam site you cannot even see houses around mm. it is just only heaps and heaps of garbage, garbage. Oh, yeah that's terrible man yeah. this fire where is it uh, coming from no who has uh, lit this fire uh -huh. it is from uh, the toxic uh, acids Oh. The acids of, uh, the, the, of plastics, of different materials that are being thrown inside this dam site. Oh. So when they're thrown, uh -huh. uh, it comes a certain time when uh, they start uh, uh, lighting. Oh, like now they are lighting uh, up. Wow. It is known as the boiler. Boilers. And, uh, boilers. And mm. these boilers, uh, sometimes it is very harmful. People who work in the dam site get burnt uh, from this from stuff. These, uh, boilers. Mm. And wow. also you can see there are schools. That's a school, uh, guys. Just after the dam site, there are schools. These are schools. Separated by a These are two schools. These are the first school, the secondary school, other school is across there. And this dam site is from 41 to phase one. Oh. It has uh, captured uh, around uh, one, two, three, three woods. Oh. It's very big, man. Very big. Wow. And we are, st we are, st guys, see how the dam site is very big, man. And more than 10,000 10, people depend from. I and mean, they are living from this waste. And actually, oh. people living in Dandora do not know. I don't know if they know. Uh -huh. I know some of them know. Uh -huh. you see this smoke right here? Uh -huh. You might think that it affects those who work. Yeah, yeah. true. But also, uh, the stage is just down there. Yeah. The, the main stage from Dandora is called the 41 stage. Mm -hmm. And every time when it is, especially in the morning, morning hours, uh, especially the months of uh, June, July, when it is cold, the smoke is always uh, driven by the wind. 
Wow. And these are neighbors, people who are, people are just living just near the dam side. And yeah. okay, since these young boys are collecting something. Bro, VP, you need? And can I see? <laughs> so these guys have just collected some steel. Uh, what's your name, bro? This guy is <laughs> asking how much will you pay him? <laughs> Poor bro, thank you. Those guys have just collected some metals. I can see they have just collected some metals. They are going to sell it. And how much can they earn maybe after selling those uh, those metals? Um, around uh, like uh, um, uh, around ten dollars. Ten dollars. Uh, not even ten dollars. Around uh, three to five dollars. Oh. But uh, uh, some or less. Uh, or, or less, but less. Than that. less but but, but also... some sometimes you get someone uh, earning even ten dollars. Mm. If the earlier you you come here, the more money, more money you, get. you get. Wow. Mm. That's very interesting. So guys, right now we are heading to that other side. There's more activity happening that other side. You can see there's a there's a truck that's coming inside and people are running it to it. I think uh, it have bring some some rubbish. You know when they they bring rubbish here, people run to collect the plastic first. Then after that, uh, after after they collect the plastic, they go and sell it. See you guys that other part of the dam site. So guys, uh, you see this wall here? Uh, this wall was built to, to separate the, the dam site and the resident area. But due to uh, illegal dumping, that's why they, they have broke the rule. Now they are here. And my friend Davis is trying to first a swamp area now guys let us uh, interview some waste workers a little bit eh, i think i'm sinking see see it's, it's. oh so guys let me interview uh, maybe a waste worker you can see this some people live here people sleep here you see and there's a waste worker who is working here a mom yeah and these are the plastic they are collecting guys and they see this abari mom okosawa so guys sasa mom abari okopoa na na apiga aso eh so aya so so mayor so these are the plastic they are collecting oh this is what we collect leo this is what we collect leo Oh, so I don't So, can you explain for us, Mayor? Hmm? What is oh, she? So, she's saying that um, these were she sorts her um, um, valuables. Mm -hmm. After collecting them from the dump site, she takes all of them. As you can see, they're not well sorted. Mm -hmm. So, she. So these are the plastic. Mm -hmm. So the plastics. Mm -hmm. These are the milk packets. These are they're also valuable. They're, uh -huh. they're, yes. you're, you're taking back this to the Maradishi kwa industry kwa company. Mm -hmm. So yes. they are taking this back to the companies, and these are the bottles. So she's separating the bottles and the what's the name of this? Uh, the, 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 what do you call them? The milk packets. Milk packets. They are plastics. So they, they be recycled together maybe with the other plastics. Huh. And like how much can plastics. can she earn a day? Maybe? Uh, uh, hey, mom, sasa kwa siku na ingiza kapa sanga pi. Eh? Na mama tuje tu ambie jina kwa ambie au tu wangu YouTube. Na fanya YouTube video apa? Sasa utani utani wajia kaki. Eh, lazima, lazima. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking me if I will give him some small token. Mwezi wa mwezi wa jiko. Uh huh. 
How long have you um, uh, Kapa I, uh, Her name is Mary Wajiko. Uh -huh. How long have you been working? I mean, how long have been she been working here, sir? Uh, for ten years. For ten years. For ten years. She's been working here for ten years. And how much can she earn a day? Na kosi kuna zangu zaka psanga pivi. Kama niya tatu nne. Hmm. Ina depend na vile siku yuko. Kwa siku moja. Mm. Mm. So in a day, that is um, 200 shillings, that's about 1 dollar. One, 1 point something dollars. Yes, yes. That's 1 point something dollars. Mm -hmm. um, less than 2 dollars actually. Yeah, yeah. yes. And like, how many kids does she have? Like, <laughs> the family, you can have a What so and and yes. both all of them they are depending from her. Now what wanna wanna depend on women to say out of food you find a case you can wapele get it. Okay. Oh, wow. So she's saying that uh, she all she has three children mm -hmm. and all of them depend on her to come and um, scavenge here. Mm -hmm. uh, now take something back at home. Wow. And also pay the rent I believe. Pay on a lipa pay rent to me to buy your cars. But only pay rent school fees. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Sorry, sorry. Does the does she get support from the county government because the county government is are the one who are dumping waste here? So I believe that any support from the county government because most of the is it takatakas get to county government is involved in in one way or the other. So kuna any support from the county government? From Serikali? None. Oh. Okay, so the challenges they, they go so through waste workers. Kama waste workers, challenge kama we we sasa kama tu na kwa 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 Unasema mzigo ni mzito, hiyo mm. ni challenge kivi mm. yake. Mm. So challenge gani wewe unaweza experience? Ama shida gani unapitia ukifanya hii kazi? Eh ni shida mingi. Mm. Kuna manini, kuna machupa huko inaweza kudunga. Mm. Kuna ni kitu ni mazidano, mm. oh. inaweza kudunga. Mm. So hizi ni baada hizo chupa zenye zina nini kama hii ni hii ni konyagi. Mm. Uh, isn't it because it's not to cook? Mm. So, this is the Kivunjika Pia. It's in Fujika, uh, in Baya. Mm. Oh, hey, what? If you could do come to Amam Kono, I have to go to Rama Mingi. No, 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 because she has no protective gear that yeah, you yeah. see. Uh, she has no protective gear mm. at all. So mm -hmm. she's using her bare hands um, to collect to the... handle all these waste that you are seeing here. Wow. So uh, all these waste you can find maybe a broken bottle, a, a syringe, glass, a syringe. Mm. Because some of them are also thrown here, a syringe, and uh, she'll actually have to do that because at the end of the day, the family depends on her. Mm -hmm. The family expects something from her. True. The family expects her to bring something at home. She has three kids, and she has to feed them through this the same same work wow mm. that's very terrible asante ma'am mm. asante sana for the interview asante ma'am mm. so guys so guys uh, uh, you have heard that it's very terrible like she have three she have three kids and all his family is depending from the dam side you see and he's been working. How long have you? Uh, she's been working for 30 years. Yeah. 30 years, yeah, man. That's the story of the dance. Uh. Come on. And. Now, guys, we are entering to the swamp area. You see, this, this all of this is swamp. They've just put rubbish here. You can see my, my leg is sinking. My leg is sinking, man. Oh. oh, guys, it's very terrible. And these are the roads. You can see from there, people are scavenging the rubbish. You can see from there. And these are the roads that the truck that's bringing the dump side, rubbish from the dump side that's go through from here. People are scavenging from there. Wow, oh, guys.
now we are going out to the dam site and this is the only route we can use to go through the dam site to come in inside the dam site and to go outside the dam site yeah guys and my friends are there uh, so guys um, I hope I hope uh, yo let's end this video here yes. and I uh, maybe I hope people have learned something from you guys uh -huh. right now what are you guys doing uh, that's some of this other side maybe uh, right now uh -huh. we are uh, creative directors mm -hmm. of this organization mm -hmm. it is the social justice centers traveling theater mm -hmm. where we use our art mm -hmm. to amplify the voices the countless voices that have not been heard in our community mm -hmm. like the voices of west pickers here yeah. the voices of people who are killed mm -hmm. due to uh, due to a judicial execution mm -hmm. the um, the voices of those people who are silent because of gender based violence so we use our art to spark conversation yeah. and, uh, and we make the community talk about these injustices that are happening in our community wow yeah. what about you may what can you tell people that maybe uh, I've uh, I've heard that Dandora is the most dangerous spot. Don't go to Dandora. You'll be you'll be still like you'll be beaten. You'll be killed. What can you tell them? <coughs> what I can tell them is that if you if you've not visited a place, then you have no right to say that that place is dangerous. Yeah. If you've not witnessed something happening to someone, then all the other things that are being said about a place is all those are rumors. Yeah. So you can say that uh, Dandora is a safe place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, everywhere is safe and unsafe mm -hmm. at, uh, at its own convenience. Mm -hmm. But if you come to Dandora, uh, for as long as uh, you you are, you, have the, you are with the right person, you can walk to Dandora. You, you can see we just walk around Dandora mm -hmm. with no one even uh, asking us anything because it's a free space that you can walk. Mm -hmm. But I can also advise just to be true. Mm -hmm. If you come to Dandora, at least make sure you have someone from Dandora true. so that you, you're just not seen as a foreigner true. who has come to. And I can also add up something on the uh, traveling theater. We can say that uh, art communicates to many, and art is the easiest way of communication. That's why we do the Social Justice Center's traveling theater. And True. this is not just any kind of theater. Yeah. But it's a theater that we come to the community. We've acted here before, mm. this area. Mm. We've acted, we've done a legislative theater mm. to um, the West speakers and have mm. dialogues with them. So uh, art speaks easily, and art um, actually can just move easily and uh, be able to speak to um, variety, num uh, a big number of people, and a diverse number of people. Wow. And, and communities also. True. Mm. So guys, if you have liked this video, and maybe we want to share maybe one, one more word to the world, who people who are watching this video around the world, one in, in, thing that you can in tell Swahili them. we say, Kamu tembe kwetu geto, kamu tembe kwa imta ya masta, awe kam. In a seminar manisha, it means come and walk in our place, the informal settlement in Dandora. Mm. Come and walk in this uh, hood of stars, superstars. Yes. We are superstars. Yes. Yeah. See, See you next time. Bye bye. 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 So guys, before we end this video, sorry to bring you back, guys. So we are having some lunch here. This is a gideri, we call it gideri. Mix of beans, beans and uh, ma maize, you see? With the maize, with corn and cabbage. And also my friend Maya is enjoying his uh, gideri. And my friend Tafari, this is Tafari, is also enjoying his gideri. How is the meal? So good. <laughs> very, very sweet. <laughs> very, very sweet. Mm. Let me let me show you guys how we eat gideri. You 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 first do like this. You mix it. You mix it like this. Then uh, you do this. Mm. Very sweet. See you guys next time. Now for real. <laughs> That's the woman who is selling the, the gideri, you see? Let me show you. This is the gideri. This is the gideri, guys. This is the YouTube, mom. So, guys, now, see you guys next time. For real. For real. <laughs>